To free up the jam nut. Yeah, you're not going to break them. I just want to make sure you pull them back too far. It ain't going to hurt. Oh, okay. This is usually not tight. It could have been a little tighter. <coughs> you don't have to mess with the lock tabs on the lower. You just pull it off. Now I have a spanner wrench. Well, now let's let it go to hard lock. Yeah, look, come over here. All right. All right, I'm going to need a helper. Hey, Jeanette. Hey. There it's coming. Now, this is only torque to 15 foot-pounds, which isn't much when you reassemble. Yeah, it's going to come out as soon as I pull this off. I'm real curious to see what these look like. Me too. I bet you're back. We can remember I laid, I laid it down the line right. last spring too. Okay, now this, this is the dust shield. There's the bearings. Yeah, are good. No busted balls. Now, when I did mine earlier, if you feel feel how sharp that edge of the race is, that means you've been wearing. Because it shouldn't be a knife. Feel like it, you'll cut yeah. yourself. So it's a knife edge, and not as bad on the lower. The upper yeah. one's pretty easy to drive out. Mm -hmm. You'll try it High tech uh, to try driving rod. Run it up through the bottom, catch it, catch the edge. Yep. You gotta keep it on there. Yeah, you gotta keep it on there and just tap it. Okay, rebite. Re now try. The edge. Working around. That's moving. Okay, just a couple hits. You're gonna have to walk it up. So just a hit and didn't bite. I'm getting on the right side Didn't bite, did it? You should do it. So that what's that about a quarter inch thick? And we'll show the new ones when we get to that point how much beefier those all balls Edge. Without cutting anything else. Very, very good last time. And we'll take yeah. a cold chisel. That's on tape, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember right, Harold, we didn't have to hit it hard after doing that. Mm -hmm. She came pretty free. Yeah, no, it's too crunchy. Like 375 for a half hour. Okay, small bearing and bigger bearing. This will be your bigger bearing yeah. in a race. So that's 
the heating them up is a. Yeah, I'm not getting into the tree. The heating them up's a maintenance trick we use in my trade. Fans it. They don't drop on, but they sure do go on a lot easier. And then we've got the outer races that go in the neck, already in the deep freeze. Just shrink them down a tad. Can you see? Yep. To split the inner race, uh, this one was a little more difficult than the first bike we did, using a cold chisel to drive where we sawed with the Dremel. This one didn't want to go ahead and split for us, so we had to work it from punching underneath to get a little bit of separation. And I took the Dremel to it again, cut it a little deeper, and then a couple more hits with the cold chisel, this inner race split. I don't know if you can see the crack where it's split. Yep. Once it's that far, you can pull it off with your fingers. A couple nicks on the uh, precision or ground uh, shaft. We'll just smooth that out with some sandpaper. It's not going to be an issue, and it's going to be below where the race seats. And I got a little Ooh. bit of a rough spot down here on the base that I'm going to go ahead and smooth out. Uh, right now we got the inner races in the oven heating up. The outer races are in the freezer already. They've been freezing for probably a couple days. Yep. So here shortly we'll start reassembling once we clean this up a little bit. Now. Ouch, crap. Another high-tech tool right here. This one's deceptive because when they swedged and flanged the neck out, it, you don't have a square seat. That's She's ringing. Okay, what's going to go down like? Yep. Can't forget the dust shield. Well, you can, but you have to take it back apart. <laughs> you will want it. Yeah. That's some kind of an angle it's easier to get to, huh? Okay. Ready to put the trip top back on, ain't we? Ready to slide the top back on. <laughs> 